Yoda. <laughs> That's a weight nut bonnet. This will be a good place for the small tractors and then in the shed opposite, that's where we can put the bigger equipment. Welcome back to the channel. This morning we're working on the new farm track, which is going to head out to the gallops. So we just brought a pack of fibre up here just to put onto the sand. It's a bit of a bridge from going from the hard surface onto the gallops, if that makes sense. Unfortunately, these packs are very compacted and you just have to keep kicking them apart or pulling them apart with a, get a rake or something later on. Alright, so 
this is the completed roadway, so we've now got the tarmac levelled out, the crushed concrete in there with the membrane, and that's to stop the rubbish going through, weeds. I'm just going over it this afternoon just with the gator, with the roller, just to flatten it out. The digger driver was saying if you put this in on a hot day tarmac, you put a bit of oil on top of it, apparently it will stick and it will set. Um, so maybe next year if it's hot, we'll try and see if we can get it to set. Yeah, what a fab job the digger driver has done, and it's been really good actually working on this over the last few days to make it uh, make it happen. We'll put some fencing on the left, and we'll put some fencing on the right maybe to make a pathway for the horses to come up and down. And then because we've got the gator with the roller, we can maintain this gravel track by just rolling it every now every so often, like I've done just there, just to flatten it out. And this is some really good material. It's just all it is is road paintings and crushed concrete. Okay, so we're just in the workshop now this afternoon, and I've just got this delivery here, which is from a company which we just purchased the speed silo off, and I've got a ticket in here. Collinson, Ollie, merch has promised. Looking forward to seeing the TriStar, TriStar, on YouTube. Amy, thanks for that, Collinson. Yeah, we're looking forward to having the TriStar on the farm. What have we got here? Oh, hoodie, this will be handy this winter. Um, this will get covered in muck. Oh, nice, got a back British farming. I the arm has gone fairly chilly. I think the back British farming thing on the back is awesome. Look like Yoda. <laughs> there we go. Cracking job. The job I've been meaning to do for a while is check the oil on my Defender because since having it, we haven't checked the oil. Yeah, I also found out the other day, it's the same engine, which is fitted to the Ford Transit van, which is quite funny. So it's got a Ford Transit engine, and it's also got a Ford Transit gearbox. They haven't built a new one like this. Oh no. There's some weight in that bonnet. Right. So we've just got to check the uh, engine oil. Yeah, I wondered the other day when I was going down to, went over to Cambridge, I thought, blooming hell, she sits well, you know, this Land Rover at uh, fairly high speeds on the motorway. And it was only until I got home that I'd realised the gearbox was the same as what's in a Ford Transit van. <laughs> Which is quite funny, really, for a Defender, you wouldn't have thought so, would you? If anyone's got any advice on how to maintain Land Rovers and keep them going, do drop a comment. It hasn't been run today because I've been busy helping the digger driver. We're good on engine oil. That's something which I've been a bit worried about when I've been going on long journeys with the Defender. Make sure my engine oil is alright and transmission oil. It's a good cruise at this Land Rover for the motorway. Going to pick equipment up, going on the you know long distance journeys. I did, like I say, I wondered the other day why it was so comfortable sitting at sort of 60, 70 miles an hour. And it is, it's a van in a way. So I read some of your comments yesterday after yesterday's video about where to put the diesel tank, the diesel bowser. And I think it's a good idea to have it in this machinery shed somewhere. The, the machinery shed, it needs a lot of work. It still needs a lot of development. If you just have a look here at the moment, we've been busy this summer doing loads of different projects and jobs. And as a consequence, there's machinery just all over the place. But what I want to do in the next few weeks is pull all this machinery out of here and look into just leveling all of this out. Like we were just doing this morning with the crushed concrete and the membrane, we could dig down a few inches, six inches, put a piece of membrane down, a roll, put some crushed concrete down, and uh, we might not even have to put any road paintings in. And then we can put the diesel bowser in here. Um, and that would really tidy this bit up. And it would, and it would also be in a convenient space because that's where the tractors come in. So the tractors are basically sleeping with the diesel bowser, which is a bit more of a convenient solution rather than driving around the back where the feed hopper is going to be to fill up with fuel. Just around the back of the farm, we've also got this other shed here, which has been sitting here for quite a while. And a few years ago, we started to, it was started to be turned into a, a small workshop uh, by somebody else. And we would like to actually turn this into a place for the 135. So we've got feed, uh, fencing equipment, we've got some feed bins there, and we've also got you know furniture and odd bits and bobs in here. But we can take all of this out and we can renew this and make it into a nice space, a nice area, a homage area for Matthew Ferguson for, one, three, for the 135, and for also as well, you know, the slightly larger four cylinder Massey Ferguson, which I want to get. Claver, what are you doing? Claver, come on. She's always looking for something, always. Um, and just here, this is the old scraper, which we'll put onto the 434. I need to give it a wash off before we put it on. But yeah, just get rid of all of this and you'll see this transformed into an area for classic tractors, which will be quite good. What's handy as well is that the floor is already concrete, so I don't really have to do, worry too much about 
making a surface on the floor. This will be a good place for the small tractors and then in the shed opposite, that's where we can put the bigger equipment and also the fuel bowser to fuel everything up. So that's all for me today. Thanks for watching today's video. And remember, back to farming. We're gonna have to get that put onto the uh, Ollie's Farm merch. I think that's brilliant, having a slogan on the back. Enjoy your weekend, whatever you're up to everyone. And I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, you're getting on a bit now, aren't you? 10 years old. Do you want a sister or granddaughter to look after? Hmm? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Ha, ha, ha.